Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I am Crossing Channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the updated wedding season event in Animal Crossing New Horizons for 2021. This event made its debut originally in 2020 as a new event for Animal Crossing New Horizons as a way to bring back the highly beloved Reese and Cyrus characters who were introduced in the previous game. I personally think this event was really cute and you can get a whole ton of new items. Well, they've updated it for 2021, so I'm going to go over all the changes that you can expect to see here, how the event works, how you can get heart crystals, and how you can unlock all of these exciting new items. So, let's get straight into this. If you're excited, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more videos. So when you start up the game, you'll see that the version number has got a little A at the end, which signifies that the wedding season event has been unlocked for you. This event was previously locked, so if you time traveled ahead to it, you wouldn't be able to access it, but now it is unlocked for everyone. Isabel will let you know that it is June and it feels like love is in the air, and that is of course because the wedding season has begun and it officially starts on June 1st until the end of the month. So if you want to enjoy the event and all the other things related to it, you'll have to play during that period of time. Thankfully, you've got a long period of time to play for the whole month, so don't worry too much. Now, when you actually leave your house, which is something I rarely do these days in real life, you'll get a little phone call from Harvey, and he'll basically let you know that Reese and Cyrus want you to come back to the Harvey Island, I guess you'll call it, for Topia, and take some photos of them. Now, one thing that's definitely a shame here is that there's not really much new dialogue if you played this event last year. With May Day and the little rover thing, Rover actually mentioned the fact that you were kind of visiting again from last year if you did play it last year. But sadly, the dialogue here doesn't seem to have been updated for 2021 and players who already enjoyed the event. In fact, these characters basically act like they've never met you before, which is honestly really strange to me. I don't know why Nintendo would take that path. It seems a bit lazy in my opinion. I just kind of wanted to point that out because if you were expecting some new dialogue for the event, sadly, it doesn't seem like there is any here. But there are definitely more new things which I am going to talk about within this video. Of course, the main goal of this event, if you didn't know, is to basically take cute photos of Reese and Cyrus for their wedding anniversary. You can decorate the little studio with a ton of wedding themed items, and generally speaking, you want to update it with as many items as you possibly can to get a photo that's really filled with a bunch of different wedding themed items that you can get from Reese and Cyrus. Then you'll be tasked with taking photos and you basically only get to show them one photo, so make sure the last photo you take is the one you want to show them. However, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. There's not too much at play here. As long as you just take a photo with lots of different items in it, and Reese and Cyrus are in it, which would be kind of hard not to do, then you should be able to get some of the good rewards for doing so. Now, if you're wondering, the rewards are the same as 2020, so if you already played, there might not be any new wedding rewards here for you. Personally, I did play the event a little bit last year, but I never really fully competed completed it because this event can be pretty tedious, I won't lie. Still, I do like it. It is something that's new. We haven't really seen an event like this before. I guess they just kind of wanted to give Harvey's photo studio a reason to exist because otherwise I feel like no one really uses it. So the rewards that you get, like I mentioned, are these cute little wedding themed items which can be customized to get a whole bunch of different styles for them. There's some chic ones and some sort of naturey ones. They're all very cool and I do like these items a lot. Of course, you'll also get an exclusive item which are called heart crystals from Reese. You can only get them during this period of time and those can basically only be used to trade for the wedding themed items that you'll slowly unlock the more photo sessions you take. So make sure you do a photo session each day. Do it for at least, I believe, seven days to get all the rewards. I might be slightly wrong on that, so you may want to do a little bit more, but I don't believe you have to do it every single day of the month. That would literally be so tedious, and I don't think anyone would want to sit there and play this event every single day. I'm not trying to be negative about it. I do actually like this event, but there's no denying that you do kind of have to do the same thing over and over again. Reese will give you different themes each day, which is definitely good, but the themes don't change too drastically, and it doesn't really matter how you end up decorating the photos. Not too much of that is going to come into play. Just remember to put in a ton of different items. Now, one really interesting thing that I want to point out in this video that I feel like everyone forgot about is this really weird feature they introduced last year that most people don't even seem to know exists. You can send back items 
using Wilbur, which is something you can't do on any other island. You can't do this on a mystery tour island, which is really strange. They should have brought this feature to there. Sadly, you can only do it from Harvey's Island, but you can basically sell items to Wilbur from the island to free up inventory space. You can send items back to your own island. They'll come back to you in the mail, which is pretty cool. I don't know why this feature wasn't included in Mystery Islands. That is incredibly strange to me. There, it's not a surprise to me that barely anyone seems to know this exists because I don't get the point of it. Your inventory is probably not gonna get so full on Harvey's Island that you need to use this because even if you do, the items that Reese and Cyrus give you will automatically get sent back. So why they decided to put this feature on only for the Harvey's Island is really strange to me and I hope in the future they will add this liquidation and delivery service to Mystery Islands too. Now let's talk about the brand new stuff for 2021 and these are of course the new seasonal items which you can get via your Nook shopping tab. These will be available throughout the whole month and of course they are here to celebrate the wedding season. The little tab says there's a saying that June brides will be happy forever which is perhaps linked to the month of June being named after Juno, the goddess of marriage and birth. And of course, like you can see here, they do actually come in different themes. There's three different themes in total, which weirdly enough, they don't actually match up with the themes of the existing wedding furniture very well, except maybe the white one. So maybe consider that if you're planning on pairing them together. Either way, I actually think these items are really great. The, the nuptial bell, sorry, I'm always pronouncing that word wrong and I know people are gonna come for me for it. That bell is really great. And also the flower petal basket is also incredibly cool. A new, nice new holdable item which you can use to throw around petals so you can kind of use these items to maybe spruce up the event a little bit but they are the bulk of new content however I can't not mention the new clothing items which you can get from the Able sisters during this period of time to celebrate the wedding season also new for the 2021 update these will be available just throughout the entire month so don't worry about getting them you, you they'll be there basically every single day so you don't have to worry too much as long as you go to the shop at one point during the month as you can see, these are the free items. Personally, I think they look their absolute best with the paper bag accessory. It just looks incredible. So yeah, make sure you head to the Able Sisters. I always like it when they include the Able Sisters as part of these. They did it with Shamrock Day and I believe some other events like Setsuban as well. So it's pretty cool when they do that type of thing and I hope they'll do it with future events too. Now, you will want to probably keep going back, like I mentioned. I know it might get a little bit tedious to kind of do the same photo sets again and again, but one really cool thing you can unlock, I believe on your fifth or your sixth visit, is a little party, which is basically the culmination of the event. Now, you can actually continue beyond this, but this is the most exciting part. And you basically get to have a little party involving your villagers, Reese and Cyrus. They have a little reception to celebrate the event and the wedding, which honestly, I think is incredibly cute and incredibly under rated because when I actually looked for people showing this off online I actually couldn't see too many people talking about it it's probably one of the better parts of the event I know it's nothing crazy but it's just nice to see your villagers interact in a really cute little cutscene like this with Reese and Cyrus it's definitely a shame that these two characters didn't get their own shop in the game so it's nice that they did get their own event though I will say I wish this event had been updated with new characters for 2021 for example Cap'n and his wife would have been perfect candidates but who knows, maybe Nintendo has other plans for those characters, or they just find it easier to include these ones again and again. It certainly does seem like the wedding event won't be changed at any point in the future. This is probably how we can expect to see it from now on in the game. It is good they added more seasonal items, but I do kind of wish they would have added a bit more. Of course, the main item that you'll really want to get here is the Reese and Cyrus photo plate, which is a cute item that is basically the main reward. But beyond this, you can get a wedding wand, which is kind of funny to think of. It's just like a little bouquet kind of. And you can also get yourself a little fence recipe from Harvey as well for doing enough of them. So there are definitely some good rewards here, but for players who enjoyed this event last year, you probably won't find too much here except the new seasonal items and the stuff from Able Sisters. Still, it's better than nothing. I do actually like the idea of events getting updated each year, but I do kind of wish they'd put a little bit more effort into this one. I think the May Day, it was kind of nice how they did a new layout and they also introduced a new item and then Rover had some new dialogue for you too. I thought that was quite nice. I wish they'd done that here, but they decided not to for some reason. 
So definitely let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the wedding season event. Are you going to be playing it? Are you excited for the new seasonal items or are you not really too fussed about this one? Definitely let me know and if you made it to the end of the video be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you want to help support me and the channel, click the join button down below the video to become a channel member. You can get some cool perks for doing so and it helps support me too. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more Animal Crossing content.